Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here again with another video today. I uh, just wanted to do a update on my card room. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, spun the camera around to the uh, to my room. Uh, it's a slow, slow work in progress. Um, I mentioned in another video a while back that uh, I was looking to uh, redo my room a little bit. Um, and I decided that uh, I wanted to do a progress video and then maybe once a month update uh, any progress that I did make, if any. Um, just give you a quick overall view of a guy that collects sets and keeps them in binders. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've got stacks of cards everywhere. I've got sets sitting everywhere, partial sets. Uh, for example, here, this section is my set two or set three of whatever particular set is marked on there. You can see 87 top set three or set two. Set one would be in a binder, so uh, these are just the different ones I'm putting together. Uh, the goal with these are to not necessarily go out and say, okay, I'm going to work on my 78 top set three. It's more of if I acquire a collection and in that collection there's some cards that I need for that set. That was kind of the goal with that. It's my unopened uh, section. Got stickers. <laughs> so, and then up here. A lot of these came from the Fairfield boxes. I don't open them. I just kind of put them aside. And then I do like to try to keep a unopened pack of whatever set. I like to do a wrapper, you know. Some helmets I'd picked up at the flea market at one point. I don't know if I ever showed them or not. It's my stack of oddballs. One of those Christmas things. I've showed that before. It's my, uh, that's a rough picture. My T206s, my graded 50s cards. So, and then over here, uh, I have recently gone back and started relabeling everything. Uh, I went on to Amazon and got these little labels. They're adhesive labels. And then I print out on my Excel spreadsheet whatever thing I want to pop in here. You got to cut the tops off, but other than that, they seem to fit pretty good. They work best on this box, this particular, not uh, the wider box. Um, let's see if I can find one here. Yeah, the BCWs, they're a little bit wider, so these badges work perfect on them. Unfortunately, I only have so many of them. Um, but what I like to do is just have one box of doubles. If I got it like this, see I got one through three ninety nine and four hundred through seven sixteen. Probably just go ahead and do another set of those, or or start another set. <coughs> if I have them up here in these boxes, I definitely want to do more than one set. Um, I just haven't got around to doing that. Mostly, all these are in numerical order. Um, and I've been working on these. Most of these now are also in numerical order. And this is baseball, football, and that whole section there is basketball. So my goal is to uh, eventually have all these in numerical order, have them in a 500 count box or less. Because if it's more than that, then my thinking is it's enough to start building another set of it, even if, you know, whether I already have it or not. It's my Donruss sets. I'm missing the 85 set. The 83 set's partially done. And I have started a 94 set, and for the life of me, I don't know where I put it. I think it's in an unmarked binder. 
because I've been looking and looking. I paid my daughter to come in here and look, and we have not found it yet. And I'm usually pretty good about marking things, my basketball section, and some hockey down below. But I don't know what happened to this set, but anyways... As you can see, I still haven't even got open those yet, the living set. Got quite a few of them. I started collecting them again. All my top space ball sets. Um, you can see down here, I got these thin labels on here. Those are just temporarily marked until I buy the update or traded set, whatever it was called those particular years. And then I'll get whatever size binder accommodates all of them. So that's why those look a little odd. Um, but I have every Topps baseball set from 1970 through last year. And I'm real close to finishing a couple more of the 60s sets. I do have the 1960 and the 68 set. Um... Same thing in football, I have every set from 1970, except for 72, all the way up through this, this past year. And I'm real close on a few of the other 60s. So, there's some of my gloves that I like to buy at the flea markets. Catcher's mitts are my favorite, this is an old uh, first baseman's glove. I don't know if I ever showed that one or not. But anyways, old tin sign, some advertisements. But like I said, this is just kind of an update uh, on where I'm at right now. The mess I have. And looking back, if you look back at my old videos, remembering when I had all the Star Wars stuff in here on top of all this stuff. You know, <laughs> now I'm uh, back to where I was before, not able to walk around anywhere, so, but I'm working on it, little by little. Uh, like I said, hopefully next month I can do an update video around this time. We'll see if I've made any progress or if I've made it worse. So, that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for watching.